Alright, uh, Barak Da Yahweh, Barak Da Yahweh Shah, Barak Da Yahweh, Barak Da Yahweh Shah, Kohala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles, a great millstone and salutation to you brothers that's pushing the truth and sincerity and with, with the faith um, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have given us. You know, um, the t today's topic or the topic that I'm going to speak about today is how the most high, how the most high, Yahweh, is the supreme power. Or the highest power, you know, the highest power in the universe, the galaxy, or whatever you, you know, whatever these people call it, you know. But on the earth, you know, the earth is his footstool, you know, and the heavens is is is, is his throne, you know. As a matter of fact, let me get that scripture, um, real quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, cause the uh, the, t the topic is how the Most High is is uh the supreme power and how he's the controller, how he's in control. You know, you see what's going on out there in California. You know, you see what's going on out there in Italy with the uh with the with the uh, uh, uh floods. You know, you see what's going on over there in, in the Middle East and Syria today or recently. Uh, the United States killed a hundred people in a bomb. You know, a hundred civilians over there in Syria. What well, was the Most High? That's, Orchestrating this, you know. Okay, so um, let me see. This is uh, let's go to um, let me see real quick. All right, so um, this is the book of um. This is the book of I'm. I'm just gonna read it. Um, Psalms ninety nine and um. Five, it says, exalt, exalt ye the Lord our power and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Okay, so the earth is the Lord's footstool, you know, pursuant to, um, it's another scripture in, um, yeah, 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 come on. Isaiah 66 and 1, it says, thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne. So the heavens is the Lord's throne and the earth is my footstool. It says, where is the house that ye built unto me? And where is the place of my rest? Yeah, because, you know, we worship at the Lord's footstool, man. Okay, which is on the earth, man. And in the, in the, in the, in the heavens is the, Lord's, is the Lord's throne. Okay, so I'm going to this topic that, that, you know, I have some scriptures that I'm going to go into. I'm going to start with, at the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation 19 and uh, 6. Okay, this is the book of Revelation 19 and 6. It says... And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a mighty thunderings, and the voice of mighty thunderings, Shalakia is saying, Alleluia, for the Lord power of omnipotent reigneth. Okay, so the Lord Yahweh, he's a, uh, he's a um, omnipotent power. So when you look up the word omnipotent in the Greek, you get... Um, Pantocrator. Let me let me uh let me uh take a listen to it real quick. Strong's G thirty eight forty one Pantocrator. 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 Okay, and that word is that's the word for omnipotent, which is uh Strong's um thirty eight forty one G thirty eight forty one. And when you look that word up, it means he. He who holds sway over all things, the ruler of all, almighty God. So the he who holds sway over all things. So if, if there's anything that takes place on this earth, you best believe that it was Yahweh that done it, that he sanctioned it, you know, that he's the shot caller of it. Okay. When you read um, uh, the book of uh, 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 2 Samuel 2 and 6, it says, um, the Lord killeth and he make it for life. Okay, um, also when you read the book of Deuteronomy, I believe it's the 32nd chapter, it says, um, unto the Lord belongeth the issues of death, you know, so if there's anything that takes place on this earth, believe it, that the Most High sanctioned it, and he's an omnipotent power, which means he holds, he who holds sway over all things, okay, now, you might have heard the elders speak of the word the supreme Yahweh, right? The supreme power, 
when you look up the word uh, supreme in the etymology in the etymology dictionary, right? Okay, let me see. You go to Etym Online, the word supreme comes directly from the Latin supremus, means the highest. He's the highest. From super, above, supreme being, a god, okay? Meaning he's the highest. He's the highest authority in the universe, man. And he's for the nation of Israel, okay? See, when you go to the book of, um, let's go real quick to um, the uh, book of uh, Deuteronomy. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 8. The book of Deuteronomy 32 and 8 says, When the Most High, right, the Supreme, the Supreme Yahweh or the Supreme Power, divided to the nations their inheritance. So he has the power to give the nations their inheritance. He holds the power, man. It says, um, it says, when, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Okay? So the supreme power in the earth is dealing with Jacob, which is the lot of his inheritance. Yaqua, going back to the Hebrew, Yaqua was go, uh, going, going back to the Hebrew, okay? All right, so it says, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. You know, meaning the Lord is dealing with the nation of Israel. Okay, because the, the, the nation of Israel, Jacob, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Which Israel means he is the prince of the power. Okay. All right, so, you know, going back to omnipotent. He who, he who holds sway over all things, the ruler of all. The ruler of all is dealing with Jacob or Israel, okay? And um, we're going to uh, go into the book of um, Isaiah 45, and I'm going to start at 4. It says, for Jacob my servant and Israel mine elect. It says, I have... Even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Because in these times, the majority of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they don't know the Lord, man. They don't know the supreme Yahweh, the supreme power, man. Which week in and week out, we go out there and we declare his name, man, in the midst of the people, man. Okay, whether it be rain, sleet, you've seen us out there in the rain, in the cold, okay, in the hot weather. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like the scriptures say, uh, be instant in season and out of season. That's part of his doctrine. That his men go out there and proclaim him, you know, week in and week out. Okay? It says... And, and, and our people, the, the, the majority of our people don't know the Lord. They don't know the supreme power, the, the creator of the universe. They don't even understand that they worship at his foot. I mean, they, that, that, that the earth is his footstool. Okay? All right, so uh, verse 6, it says, um, um, it, says uh, it says, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. So Yahweh, he's the Lord, and there's none else. He's the one that set up his son Yahweh Shah to come down here and die for two, uh, for 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 um the nation of Israel, mainly the elect of the nation of Israel, so they could get this knowledge, so they could be married back unto the Heavenly Father. Okay, they don't know, they don't understand his program, what the Lord uh, uh have have um, made. hey, it, it, it his power. Uh, the power of Yahweh, he declares things from the beginning. He's a power that declares things from the beginning and, 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 and the end. He declares the beginning from the end. As a matter of fact, let's go to that in uh, Isaiah 42 real quick. There's one scripture that I like bringing out. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is Isaiah 42 and 9. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. And this is the Heavenly Father. 
Matter of fact, I'm going to read up. It says, I am the Lord. That is my name and my glory will I not give to another. Neither my praise to graven images. Okay, so that all the idols, all the idols that uh, 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 our people worshipped in the past, the Lord is not going to give his glory to those idols, man, because those idols are nothing. He's the supreme. He's the one that put it in the people's minds to believe in them idols. Okay? All right, so he said, I am the Lord. That is my name. I am, it's in all caps. The word is, I am Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not, will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And that's how the highest gets down, man. That's how Yahweh, that's how Yahweh gets down, the most high gets down, man. You know? As a matter of fact, is uh uh no, never mind, I'm just gonna keep on reading. Um Yeah, all right, I'm gonna I'm go back to, uh, I'm gonna go back to uh, Isaiah 45, and it says, um, it says, I am the Lord, it's going back to I am Yahweh, and there is none else beside me, none of them idols, there is no God beside me, I gird it thee, though thou hast not known me, okay, so the, we, we established that the majority of Israel don't know the Lord, okay, and um, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. Because when the Lord brings forth his judgment, and he's judging this place right now as we speak with them fires, man, out there in the Midwest, man. You should have seen the look. They show him pictures of those Edomites as they came back to their charred and burnt houses. You know, you should have seen the looks on their face, man. The Lord did that, man. Yahweh Bashim Yah Shah, Yahweh, the, the, the spirit of the, the, the supreme power did that, man. Okay? He did that. That's his power, man. The Lord killeth him, he make it for life. There was a firefighter over there that got caught up in the fire, man. He got put to death, man. Okay? That's who we speaking of, man. He gonna show his he's gonna show his hand, man. He's getting ready to show. Well, he's showing his hand now. He's just going to intensify the pressure, man. That's about to come upon his society until the nuclear missiles come. Remember, we speak about that woman in travail with those labor pains, those contractions. Well, these are nothing but more contractions. The Santa Ana winds. They say they're going to be blowing for another three months. This is what the supreme power did, man. And 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 it's a, you know you know what. Let me get this scripture right here. I like to bring this scripture out. Um, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and, and, and uh, 17. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm gonna start at uh, Let's start at 13. It says, For neither is there any power but thou that cares for all, to whom thou... This is Wisdom of Solomon 12 and uh, 13. It says, For neither is there any God but thou that cares for all, to whom thou mightest show that thy judgment is not unright. Neither shall king or tyrant be able to set his face against thee for any whom thou hast punished. For so much... Then, as thou art righteous thyself, thou orders all things righteously. So what's happening out there in the Midwest, scriptures say thou orders all things righteously. So everything, hey, scriptures say by terrible things and righteousness shall he answer us, man. When we be putting up those prayers, um, Yahweh ba Shem Yahushah, Shalak, Rayam, Wa, Anashim, Wa, Abadim, Wa, Haragim, Wa, Mashapatim, all call out of woman, why go why him, why a yabim now, but bakusha, but bakusha, ya how about she now shot the water, them yah to walk. Brothers be putting up them prayers at the uh, uh the Sabbath service, at the Passover, you know, at the feast of dedication. The Lord hears that, man. The Lord hears that. And the scriptures say by terrible things and righteousness shall that um shall thou answer us, man. 
You know, we praying that, that the Lord destroyed the Edomites, the other nations, and the two-thirds, man. Please, please, we begging the Heavenly Father to do it, man. So when we see this, man, we rejoice, man. We rejoice because by terrible things and righteousness, as a matter of fact, let me get that. Let me get that real quick. Because that's a, a good scripture. Okay? Let me see. Been putting up them prayers, man. You and brothers, brothers keep on praying, man, because things is happening. Now, we, we, the, the the reason why I said that is because it says, um, it says neither shall back to wisdom of Solomon, um, twelve and fourteen. It says neither shall king or tyrant be able to set his face against thee for any whom thou hast punished. So you Edomites, you other nations, you're not gonna be able to do anything. You're not gonna be able to be able to recompense the Heavenly Father, man, when he punish whoever he punishes. It says, For so much then as thou art righteous, thyself thou orderest all things righteously. The most high orders all things righteously. Now, going, going back to Psalm 65 and 5, which I was talking about, it says, By terrible things and righteousness will thou answer us. O God of our salvation. And we know the God of our salvation is Yahweh. And he's going to give us salvation through Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, who, out, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth. Because he's the supreme. Just we, the omnipotent. By him all things are ordered. So we can trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yahweh through Yahweh Shah to, to, uh, to, uh, 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 uh. To, to, to be confident in con um con with fidence or, or fidelity with, with faith who are the 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 uh, with faith of all the ends of the earth man and of them that are far off upon the sea okay so going back to by terrible things and righteousness will thou answer us man so the Lord is going to keep on bringing more destruction until this place is completely destroyed. You know, when we pray that the Lord fulfill his word by destroying America, ultimately America is going to be destroyed, man. I mean, we pray for this in Hebrew, man. You know, and week out, week in and week out, we go out and, 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 and we declare it, man. You know, the Lord had put the spirit on us to go out and do this work, man. All right. So it says, um, for so much then as thou art righteous thyself, thou orders all things righteously. Thinking it not agreeable with thy power to condemn him that have not deserved to be punished. For thy power is the beginning of righteousness. And because thou art the Lord of all, he's the Lord of all. Okay. It maketh thee to be gracious, gracious unto all. For when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength. And among them that know it, thou makest their boldness manifest. Because it's a bold thing to go out on the highways and hedges in these times. In these times and, 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 and curse these Edomites, these other nations and two-thirds of our people out, man. When you see us out there, you know, we, we out there, you know, reading the word, speaking the word, you know. And, and we have to do it in boldness. And and, and and the times that we coming into, we even going to get more bolder with, with uh, pushing the word and with power, man. You know. We got a form of spiritual power. We this is this word is our spiritual power, man. And ultimately, it's going to manifest into something that the world has never seen, you know, or that the masses have never seen, man. Okay, because you you, you got to remember that um back during um the time of uh, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah was doing miracles amongst Israelites, man. He was doing miracles amongst Israel. Okay, so in these times, uh, 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 in, in the times that we're coming into, you know, the whole world is going to see the power of the Lord, man. You know, the, the supreme power, man. And it says, for when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength. And among them that know it, thou makest their boldness manifest. Okay. All right, so 